Hello traders and welcome to today's Bitcoin and cryptocurrency update. Now this is the first video that I have done, the first public video that I have done since uh, the big breakout that we had on Sunday. I was with family at the weekend, uh, happy Mother's Day, happy late Mother's Day to all those in the UK and of course around the world. Um, so I was there seeing family at the weekend and wasn't able to get like a video or a stream out while we had that volatility. So yeah, we have some stuff to cover today. Uh, I'm going to be going over some of the recent trades that I have taken locally within this range, uh, including the long position that I am now in, the short position I took last night, and the short position that I am looking to take. I won't, I'll hide this for now. I am looking to take around 49k. So we will go over those trades. We'll go over the, obviously, we'll start off, I guess, with yesterday's price action. Then we'll go over where I'm expecting this to go in the future. Um, it's up basically for now. And uh, then we'll kind of have a look a bit more on the macro and take a look at some altcoins as well uh, once we have covered all of this. So please do hit that like button, hit subscribe, do all of those nice things. And um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So yesterday, okay, the short that I had taken, this is when I got home yesterday. I, did, I got home kind of late. Um, so I was looking for short positions when we were up at these highs, looking for kind of, you have one, two, three kind of spikes up into resistance. You've got this daily level has been quite significant. And we were looking at this scenario here. Uh, as a potential trade to play out uh, overnight. So we're looking for a loss of structure here uh, to come back into the daily level and then a move down potentially or almost down until the to the yearly, but to take out some of these stops that we could see around here. And I mean, it kind of played out, okay? So we, we did get that nice little uh, move down, at least temporarily, okay? So we had that move down. We had that small break of structure here, came back into the daily level and then traded this down here. Now, the point in which I actually took the short position off of this was actually coming back up into this five minute OB. Um, I was just looking at price rising up. We had uh, some divergences forming. It seemed to be getting some weakness. And I did take a short position here that I actually closed kind of early. I closed it around this trend line. Um, basically, it was getting late at that point. I wanted just to chill out. I was like, okay, that's enough. I'm still looking for more upside overall and looking for this to put in a range. So closed out of that position. And then of course we did get that further move to the downside in the early hours of this morning. Okay, so since then we have of course had that move back up into this daily level, weekly level holding as support. And also we have a little bit of support around here with the VWAP and stuff um, as well. So I'm currently in a long position um, from VWAP basically here. So this is what we are looking at at the moment. We did the trading room this morning where we were looking at this slight rejection here of the potential of this rolling down towards daily open. We got some nice absorption then soon after that in a long position, managed to catch that and I am now looking up for higher prices. So we did have, is a little squiggly line still here from trading room? Uh, no, it's not. But basically, the plan is something like this. Reclaim the daily and we're looking to come up here and take these highs, at which point, again, shorts become a possibility. So this here, this daily level being the key resistance right now. OK, if you can break through that, I think we're going to go to new highs, at least on, on this trend. Uh, if we cannot break that, then we are going to likely see. And if we do lose this VWAP, we're likely going to see a move down towards daily open, at which point I would expect to bounce resistance off a of VWAP. And that does take us down towards these kind of regions, even down as low as the yearly down here as well. So locally, that's kind of what I'm looking for. OK, um, if we go on to the the higher time frames now so i'm just let's just zoom out of this a little bit i think i've kind of covered that okay so we're looking at maybe uh towards the upside okay you've got to be aware of just taking out the high that is where shorts do become um better value okay so if you do get an sfp of these highs then you can look to trade things back down and we know where the support and resistance is so there could be short positions that could be taken here but ultimately i'm looking a little bit higher than that and i think this could be a region that is very important on the macro it's where local market structure meets macro market structure and the macro market structure kind of bearish okay so we do have to be aware of that we do have a local uptrend but it isn't going to meet some fierce resistance up here at 49k just about the kind of time when everyone probably thinks we're going to go above 50 so we'll go on to that um now i guess yeah, let's just move on to that. So <laughs> we'll zoom out here. We'll go on to the four hour chart because this is where this structure starts to become clear. And then we'll move on to the daily chart, which is where it becomes even more clear. So of course, um, yearly level, be aware, okay, 46,200. Okay, that's gonna be significant again if we do see a pullback. Um, but for now, 
we'll remove these high time frame levels and we're just going to go here for this consolidation and you know this is what we've been looking at for a number of weeks and our bias was that we would have a move to the upside before a potential fake out and then a move down that could get a little bit sketchy okay so there is a possible trade scenario that looks a little something like this okay so what we have within this region um is kind of like kind of major okay so i'm gonna start rewind <laughs> i'm gonna start with the actual break itself okay i'm gonna start with the break itself and what i am also going to add on here is this rsi trend that we've been in as well so we've been coiling up on price we've been coiling up on the rsi now i do like rsi trends i do like rsi patterns much more than i like them in price action okay they are kind of nice right so what we were looking at is this for the breakout and the target for this if you do break out of a structure like this is simply to take out that high and then you set up a new kind of phase in the market so what we've done we've come up we have taken out that high that's this trade completed at this stage i'd say the long exposure for myself is fairly reduced right now and i'm starting to get into that point where short positions can be a probability at least for a hedge i am bullish overall but i do think that this is starting to get a little risky for long positions you do have to be paying yourself you do have to be aware that there is downside potential i'm not presenting this as the most likely scenario but i'm presenting it as a scenario that the whole market's bullish right now i'm kind of bullish i want people to be aware that there could be significant downside um just from the technicals that we've got so what we are going to get if we do get another push higher there will be four hour bearish divergence we're very unlikely to break all the way up here and to take out these highs again we're going to get four hour bearish divergence the other thing that we're coming up into and we can go here onto the daily level <clears throat> the daily time frame okay is we have a monthly naked mpoc um i'm not going to show you exactly how that is um found but we do have the monthly naked monthly naked mpoc um, around about 48,750, depending on the tick size that you're using, but that 49K, 48,750 region. The other thing that we have there is a very significant order block or breaker level um, in this same zone, okay? And you can see how we've had kind of blocks within this region previously. And we're coming up into this. So you can see price has this little breakout holds above. This is the point in which when we were in this range, price should have held. And we, if we were going to be going up to new highs, price should have held that point and got continuation. Now it didn't, it disregarded that as support. It broke through, had a very quick back test and then had a very like huge move down um, from that level. Now we've never really come into this OB significantly since then okay so it's well we've never come back into that ob since then so we do have liquidity above these highs okay so major liquidity above these highs what we also have is this daily order block we have the monthly mpoc and then we have this fair value gap which is uh presented here with this little purple box so this being the uh fair value gap that you have here on the chart and that is between um basically the wick high that you have on the 31st of december and the down move that we had on the 26th of December, basically that is like, these points are not touching, okay? So on the high time frames, these points are not touching. That is an imbalance on the charts that could get cleaned up before a move to the downside. That would maintain bearish market structure, okay? With your major kind of pivots being here, here, and possibly here before we do see continuation to the downside. Now, I'm not expecting, um, really i don't see this as the most likely scenario okay but i do see this as a point in which you can get good short positions to have a decent enough pullback possibly to your yearly level possibly a little bit deeper maybe back testing the trend down here maybe back testing a point of control we'll have to see what the levels are like when we get there um, but this is a, a potentially bull trappy area that you do need to be aware of okay so um it's an idea okay i just want to kind of show that as like a significant one because as people are getting more and more bullish um starting to believe a bit more and more in this breakout we've had a few days of um well we've had a really good run 
uh, within this range. And then since the breakout, we're in a couple of days of continuation, which is what you want to see. But there is stuff you need to clean up below. And this could be a potentially trappy area as everyone starts to think, oh my God, this breakout's actually real. We're going to go up to like 50K, 58K and so on. So do be aware of that. Um, of course, if we do flip that, let me just take away this. Let's zoom in a bit more. Uh, let's remove the short position. I don't think it's gonna play out as high as that. I think what's more likely is we just kind of reject, play this range here. And I am thinking eventually we do break out, but okay, this is uh, something to be aware of. Now, if we do flip that and we can turn it into support, then I, I think we're very likely to be moving up to that 56K, that 58K. Um, you can go onto your bigger range here. You can look at your big point of control within this region. I don't think it would take much for price just to kind of blast through this whole low volume area here. So this is basically our last high volume node around at this NPOC. Then it becomes very thin. Uh, so if we do flip it, hold it as support, I do think we'll quite easily see a move up towards that 56, 58k region uh, soon after that. So that's like the higher time frames. Um, do be careful <laughs> if price does come up here. I am going to be looking for short positions. I am going to be reducing massively on my long exposure up there. Um, you're only going to lose a few percent if price does reclaim and go up. There, there'll be another opportunity to get in. I don't think you're going to lose anything by hedging. Um, so yeah, be aware of that. And uh, yeah, I just want to do a few, a couple of little updates on the altcoins as well then. So Luna, of course, so what we had here on the trade on Luna was looking at the, uh, basically the low of the channel is what we were looking at, uh, was able to take a long position on the reclaim of the yearly level that we then came back into this little order block golden pocket region. We hit the daily, which was the target for this. Uh, that's why that arrow is there. We hit the daily. I actually closed the position at that point and now we've come up here and we've made a new all-time high, but so far a swing failure pattern of all-time high. And this is going to be important to kind of keep chopping around this region, not to reject too strongly. And then we do have targets above of around this 110 to 112 dollars and 118 to 120 dollars just above. Okay, so this being fib extensions, uh, your one-to-one -one extension and all of that kind of stuff. So Luna looking really strong. I still think there's more upside potential on this, but of course it has hit the targets that we wanted from this trade. And um, yeah, uh, for now, little kind of rejection off of this SFP, not really a trade in there. I wouldn't short this, but I'd be cautious again on long positions on here. Uh, Dot, okay, still kind of going along. We're still looking up towards this $26 region uh, on here course the BTC pair is in this nice little range um a couple of the other alts to go over CRV is one that I have been looking at quite closely so I was able to get into a long position last night on CRV I am expecting higher my lines trading view is weird this morning and it seems to have taken off a lot of my lines on a lot of the charts uh so I have to redo a lot of this stuff um yeah so <laughs> we'll ignore that one EGLD, of course, that trade was done last week. That was completed. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else in the altcoins I really want to cover. Uh, the Sushi trade's still going. The VeChain trade is still going. Again, we're hitting new targets on this. Um, XRP, there is a sh potential short trade that we are looking at a little bit higher. But again, I think that's going to probably wrap it up for this video i will do a stream again where we can go into this in a bit more detail but as a general daily update uh that's kind of what i wanted to cover so if you would well i hope you enjoyed the video if you would like to learn more about um uh how we present trade setups like this and how we give like daily update sheets like this and how we do all of the trading rooms and all of those kind of things uh please do visit torascrypto.com where you can learn more about the uh the community the kind of the the crew section the services that we provide and um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video i've said that already um i'm going to end it here <laughs> and yeah have a great day uh, i'll catch you all in the next update cheers guys bye